I was doing um, learning to play the piano and the violin from in the house, yeah? But for the music, call it a career. I think my music career started in about 1994 when I had a hit with this very popular song. But at the end of the day, when I was singing that song, I never know nothing was going to start so many years after the date. It would be happening, you know what I'm saying? So 1994, it was redone because of Studio One's 35 year anniversary. And um, a lady named Vonnie McGowan was spearheading the affair and Steely and Cleavick. They were commissioned by Heartbeat to do a Steely and Cleavick Go Rock Steady album. Well, everything kicked off from there. But before that, I was working in an office, working in the bank, working in accountant, secretarial work, and things like that. I still didn't know the potential of the song. And actually, when it was done first, um, Jackie Me Too, I remember him positioning the chords, making it have more, you know, like the first note and the third note and the fifth note to make a chord. He was making five and seven. Oh, to make it fat. Um, that was that part of it. Well, like I said, no money passed. Nobody was doing it for no business, no contract, no nothing. But the second time around, I was doing it for Heartbeat now, which was done in Dumbarton Avenue. Um, it's a we just know, yeah, we just knew that it was going to be an, on an album, Steel and Cleave Go Rock Steady. But it turns out that this track was running the album, so they had to take it and put it on seven inch, and. Um, about two months after that, a man named Basil Marshall from RCA, ex-vice president of RCA Victor came to the house to say he was talking to Atlantic, which was Mr. Craig Kalman, and that he was working out a deal and he got an eight-year deal. That turned out to be a one-year album deal, so what can I say?